So when I'm capturing my mix back with the 80 plus, there's a couple great things that I love about it. For one, the metering. When I'm really pushing that bus, the extended range really helps me see what my level is going to take, and that's huge. For while I'm building the mix, I can keep it on the standard zoom just to make sure I'm not catching any overs. But after I've added some compression and EQ and I got that level right at the top, I can switch over to the enhanced zoom to see how much room I got to get away with. The other thing is often we'll have to do a quick vocal overdub or like punch in and having the second set of inputs, I don't have to change my system over, rewire, just click right over, get it in, sounds great on the way in. And the conversion is really one of the reasons you love it in the first place. I mean, it's very clear, huge stereo image, transients all captured in there, which is really great and makes everything else in the Dangerous system really shine. On the AD Plus, the transformer and emphasis knobs, those really can take your mix to a whole nother place. The knob at the end is like that final sweetener. Usually I found for me like around 10 o'clock, keeps everything that I had going in still sounding the same, but just ramped up with a little bit more shine and a little bit more of that Baxendall curve that sounds so good on pretty much anything. When you get, crank that thing all the way up, you know, you definitely hear a lift in the lows and the highs, which can be really great and competitive with modern music and kind of like a soft compression that just helps you get like a nice high level if you're doing a final print down. 